giving all the praises to Allah, my Creator. It's to Him all glory belongs. Today is going to be special. Today's message is entitled, Islam Belongs to Israel. I'm going to prove to you, real quick, how Islam belongs to Israel. According to the Quran, Jesus is the Messiah. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the Messiah in the Quran. He's not. Why? Because he is a servant. According to Genesis 22, for beginners, I'm going to be nice. There's a story about Abraham's servant named Eliezer going to pick out a bride for his son Isaac. And he was told to swear, putting his hand under his thigh. Now, under his thigh is going into the Hadith. And that is going into the prophecy of Al-Mahdi in the Hadiths. This is the bride that was promised to Isaac. It was really a bride that was promised for Al-Mahdi. And I'm going to show you that in two ways. Now this bride, no doubt, is the religion we call Islam. Eliezer was supposed to pick out this bride and then bring this bride to Isaac. And that's exactly what the prophet Mohammed, the Arabian one, did. He kept God's people from Christianity as much as he could. And he picked out a bride. He picked out the religion we call Islam. Now, according to the Quran, an Israelite is the Messiah. Why is that? Because in the Quran it tells you that the Israelites are heirs of the book. And the shocker was that al Mahdi was from the house of David. Okay, that was the shocker. The Quran is in metaphors, the Hadiths is in metaphors, the Bible is in metaphors. All things are in metaphors. And so Genesis 22 is the best way to explain the religion of Islam. It was a religion that was like a bride that was not supposed to stay with the Arabian Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him. That bride was supposed to be passed ultimately to Al-Mahdi. That's why he put his hand under his thigh. That's going into the ruler of the Arabs, Hadith. It is prophesied in the Hadith that a... It is prophesied in the Hadiths that Al-Mahdi is ruler of the Arabs. He is ruler of this religion we call Islam. And let's think about this. This religion is supposed to be the Arabian. Let's think about it. This religion is supposed to be a religion that belonged to the Arabs. Well, then why is an Israelite the Messiah of it? He's the heir of it. Think about Isaac and Esau. That bride that Eliezer picked out, that woman was for who? It was for Isaac or Esau. That's why it tells you in the Quran that Jesus is the Messiah. It tells you that, that Jesus is the Messiah. Well, then where does al Mahdi comes into the picture? If Jesus is the Messiah, how does al Mahdi fit in all this? Now, that's a good question. I'll tell you this. This is the thing. 
Isaac did not start off the 12 tribes of Israel. In other words, Esau does not start off the 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus cannot do it because Isaac did not do it. Now, further proof that Jesus cannot start off the tribes of Israel is narrowing it down to Esau and Jacob. The blessing was supposed to go to Esau or Esau or Jesus. Okay. But what happened? Jacob, the smooth man, that's me. This old man that don't even have a beard. The smooth man. Jacob. Why is he Jacob? Because he's God the Father that came to earth to restart the tribes of Israel in his loins all over again. Making it a new Jerusalem. All will have halos over their head. Okay. So, God the Father is Jacob. He's the Jacob. He's been swearing by himself. And he came back as Jacob because he's going to restart the tribes of Israel. Now, the story is the story in between Jacob and Esau. Esau was supposed to get the blessing. But what happened? Jacob's mother heard about it. She knew that Esau was not fit to have the blessing. And so she took the goat hair. Now for beginners, little babies in the scriptures, hair means hair, like an inheritance, like hair. She put the inheritance on Jacob that was supposed to go to Esau. And my mom did this to me when she named me Daquant. I got two brothers, both common names, Brandon and Carl. But my mama saw fit to name me Daquan Lamanti. Clay, she put the inheritance on me, the smooth man. All my brothers have more hair than me, and I'm the oldest. I've always been the smooth man because I'm full of life. I'm full of the light of God. Okay. She put the inheritance on me, not Isa, not Jesus. And so that's what happened in Islam. That's why when prayer is restored, right now prayer is not restored. Prayer won't be restored until the prophet Isa returns. And he'll be asked to pray. And he will decline. All right. He'll recognize his place. Because his father is Al-Mahdi. That's something that you scholars and you Muslims do not know. That Al-Mahdi is the father of the prophet Isa. That's why he will meet the prophet Isa. And that's why the Islamic Messiah... Al-Mahdi is the ultimate Messiah of Islam because he's the father of the prophet Isa. The prophet Isa has work to do as soon as he returns. He has to destroy Paul's church. He has to destroy all those churches that Paul put Jesus' name on. He has to destroy the cross according to the Hadiths. He has to destroy the cross according to the Hadiths. And that is the truth. He has work to do. Okay. Now, Al Mahdi is here to bring in world peace. I'm the only man that can do it. I'm here to bring world peace. There will be war. There will be things that need to be settled. But the ultimate goal will be world peace. Al Mahdi is the only man walking around with the watch that can do this. So as you can see on the screen, you see the stone surrounded by the silver, surrounded by the virgins, surrounded by the virgins and the pillar and the gold. Why? Because Allah saved the best for last. All Muslims pray towards the stone. That's how it is in the heavenlies. When Islam began from the beginning, when I was in heaven, they were praying towards me. 
the whole time. But now things are going to change. According to the Hadiths, the Kaaba will be moved and there will be a new prayer direction. Now the first Solomon gave us prayer directions in Israel. The second Solomon gave us a prayer direction in Islam, the Arabian Mohammed. al Mani will be the last one to give the prayer direction. And then you'll see why Arabia will be green. Okay. Now this is revelation. You should be grateful for. al Mani is the stone. Now, I'm going to show you something online. There's this little girl that had amazing faith. And I'm going to show you this girl. This girl had amazing faith. Because in the spirit realm, there's always people who can see just a little bit. Not all people can see. Only a few people can see. But this little girl, she could see. This little girl could see me. This little girl could see me. Watch this. This little girl was denied kissing. Is this one right here? Now that's what you call faith. That right there is what you call faith. Because what this girl did was she kissed me. She was denied kissing the black stone that was originally white. And she saw it in the spirit realm. You see, the Kaaba stone is a picture of al -Mahdi, And it's because the scholars of Islam, they're not anointed. You see, Islam originally came from Israel. We got that oil. We got that anointing. You know, the Arabs were servants, you know. It ultimately came from Israel, that religion. That's why an Israelite is the Messiah of your religion. It belongs to Israel, okay? And the sad thing about this is scholars should know this. Now think about it. The Prophet Muhammad chose to live poor for who? For Solomon. But in your mind, you're thinking about the first Solomon. No. This is talking about the last Solomon. This guy right here on the screen. This guy on the screen right here is a picture of what that girl just kissed. Me. You see, I got the silver pants. You see, I got the stone jacket. You see, I even got my head covered. Okay, because I got the stocking head. Okay, like your prophet said, of my stock, all that stuff was metaphors. Of my stock, all that stuff was metaphors that went over your head. I am the shocker, I am the stunner, I am the black Maddie. And that little girl, what she just did was, I'm going to play it again and I'm going to turn the music down. And play this again for you. I'm going to show you what this little girl did, man. 
this little girl was led by angels and her parents or whoever was over there was helping her. And I have plans for the Arabs too. I'm, I'm not going to tell you right now. I got plans. <laughs> I got plans. Look at her. Why? Why did this happen? Because Al Mahdi suffers from rejection. The real Al Mahdi suffers from rejection. These people have no idea how Al Mahdi's going to come because they're not anointed. They don't have the oil. I have the oil. I have the ice off. You know, I have the ice off. I can see. Now let's go to Al Mahdi's job. What are you supposed to do? Okay. This is going to be Isaiah 49. Let's start off in verse 5. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Now let's dissect that. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Now, this is God the Father prophesying of himself. God the Father is literally saying, Though Israel will not be gathered, I will return to earth, and I will recreate Israel. Now watch this. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Israel and to restore the preserved of Israel. Now, whenever it says raise up, that means beget or begot. This is going into a person physically bringing up children from his loins. Okay. This is going into sex. This is going into recreating the tribes of Israel. This is what this verse is speaking of right here in verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to, key words, raise up the tribes of Israel. What does the Bible say about a child? Raise up a child. This is going into everything that comes with raising up a child, okay? And to restore the preserved of Israel. That's going into taking the place where they say Israel and putting my people there or putting our people back where they belong. Okay. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. That's going into you being a messenger to all other nations. Now, Al Mahdi can do this. Why? Because Al Mahdi was the voice that was in the Prophet Muhammad's last speech. It was Al Mahdi in the Prophet that said, I am the last messenger. I am the only messenger that was sent to my own people and other peoples. Why? That's the coat. That was the coat. That was not the Arabian Muhammad speaking. And that was not Allah speaking. That was al Mahdi speaking, the ruler of the Arabs. Muslims recognize the Prophet Muhammad was told he's not a father. He was told he's not a supervisor. Well, al Mahdi is a supervisor. Why? Because he's ruler of the Arabs. Okay? Not only that, he's a father because inside of Kaaba, you got Abba. Inside of Mahdi, you have Dad. You have Ma. Because that's going into the last witness. Okay? al Mahdi is the last two witnesses. All right? And so, there you have it. The stone that the builders rejected, where that girl was trying to kiss, she suffered rejection. She suffered rejection because that's what I'm suffering right now. I'm suffering rejection. But according to the word, the sun will shine 
And there's a song that I did. And I thought I was singing to the Most High. And the song goes like this. There's no way you can stop the sun from shining. And I'm thinking I'm singing to the Most High. And Allah revealed to me I was singing about myself. And there's a little clip of that song. Um, when I'm preaching is truth. That is me. Uh, I came from heaven. And I thought I was singing about the Most High. And I was singing about the most high myself <laughs> so that's how that goes so as you can see in isaiah 49 i will be a messenger to the gentiles because i am the voice of the quran when the prophet muhammad made his last speech those was my words speaking through the prophet muhammad the prophet muhammad was not the last piece of the stone al Mahdi is. It was al Mahdi's voice. We fooled you. We fooled you. And some of you will be amongst the losers. Some of you will be amongst the losers. And that's just the sad truth. So al Mahdi's job is to restore true religion, raise up the tribes of Israel, and bring world peace, fill this world with equity and justice because he's a man of justice he's the definition of justice al Mahdi can do all these things now as you can see we have a sign as we can see fernando valenzuela he retired his 34 jersey okay the boy retired now i've been preaching about 34 and this just hit the news five hours ago. 34 retired. Why? Because 34, it is over. Now, look, I've been preaching and teaching this for probably about a month that 34 was the end. Y'all fail to realize this is a sign right here with Fernando uh, retiring his 34. Because it's going down. You see him throwing up the peace sign? Let me see if I can get a big picture of that. Him throwing up the peace sign. Yep, it's going to be over. You see that? It's going to be over like that in 34. Okay? That's a little treat just for you. That's a little treat for you. Because I've been preaching 2034 is going down. It's over. And it's going to be September um, the 16th. All right? It's going down. And there your boy throwing up the peace sign because Allah is using him. He's being used. Now, let's go to this right here. All right. According to the Hadiths. A lot of them are different. Some say seven years he'll reign. Some says eight. Some says seven. Lot of narrators and all of this right here. Lots of narrators. All this stuff is metaphors. He will be from the family of Fatima because it'll go into the father's time. This is going into Al Mahdi, you know the time. Broad forehead is um, going into Broadway, the street I descended upon, 700, and it's going into he's knowing the last day. Uh, forehead and prominent nose means this guy knows the end. He knows the end. All this stuff is metaphors about Al Mahdi. All this stuff is metaphors about Al Mahdi. Okay. They can't even agree on how long will his reign be. And I'm telling you, it's going to be nine years. All right. So there you have it. If Allah lengthened the day for this man, it's because Allah told this man the end. And it makes perfect sense because I told you I'm the father. Now you see how I make sense with the Bible and the Quran and the Hadiths. I make sense with it. I make sense with it. I don't reject Jesus being the Messiah. 
Okay? I have the truth. I don't reject the Prophet Muhammad as being a false prophet. No. I have the truth. I am the last piece to the puzzle. I am Al Mahdi. I am this right here. I'm this guy right here. I'm the stone, y'all. I'm the stone. I am the stone. Don't be like that with the stone. Don't be like like that with the stone. Look at me. Look at me. I shine. I shine, man. I shine. Let me tell you something. I shine. I shine. Look at that. You see the halo? That's a halo. I have a halo, brothers. Okay. So we looked at the retirement of 34. Um, we looked at the little girl kissing the rock. She don't even realize that she was kissing me. This girl has an extraordinary faith. I'm going to find her. I'm going to hunt her down one day. I'm going to hunt this family down because I'm going all over the world. I'm going all over the world, my guys. I'm going all over the world. This was prophesied from the beginning. Everything I'm bringing out. All right. That girl has humongous faith. All right. Almighty is raising up the tribes of Israel. Let's go to one more else scripture. Let's go to another scripture. Let's go to Genesis 49. Now, the Bible is written in metaphors. It is written in metaphors, and you have to be advanced to be able to catch it. Because although this is 12 tribes, this is all talking about one person. Every last character is talking about one person. Because God the Father himself had to recreate it all. Let's go to verse 8. Let's still go to 7. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, their, fierce in their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be in the neck of your enemies. Your father's child, children shall bow down before you. Now that is God Almighty talking about himself. Notice, God doesn't share his praise. He doesn't share his glory. So right here in verse 8, this is God the Father talking about himself. And in this verse, it is particularly talking about Paul. This is about being in the neck of the enemy of God. And that is Saul, B.K.A. Paul. That's what verse 8 is talking about. It is not talking about somebody bowing down to anybody other than God himself. That's how cold the Bible is. This is not talking about nobody else other than God the Father coming back as Jacob and being praised because he really was the God who became the man. He really was the Father who became the Son. Now going on in verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his foal unto the vine, and his ass coat unto the choice vine. He washes his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. Now, this is talking about Almaty. Why does it say binding his foal unto the vine? Because this is going into the Father God coming back to earth and finding the right race of woman to recreate the tribes of Israel with. 
That's what that means. Binding his foal unto the vine and his ass coat unto the choice vine. Then it's going into warfare because you think people going to receive a black matty? No. Blood is going to be shed. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. And that is a metaphor for virgins. All of that is a metaphor for virgins, to be honest. Verse 11, binding his foal unto the vine and his ass coat unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. That is actually talking about being with virgins. Okay, that's exactly what that's talking about. That's why it says it's closed with the blood of grapes. Okay, all of this is a metaphor for one person, each one. Even Dan. Dan means judge. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. The reason why Dan is missing in all of the tribes of Israel is because God the Father himself was the Dan. God the Father himself was the Dan. He was the serpent by the way, okay, that bit the horse's heel and made the rider fall backwards. Okay, Allah is wise. And Al Mahdi's always been Dan, get it? The one who does the Adan, the one who does the prayer. Let me show you that guy. Let me show you that guy that does the prayer. What that address say? Prayer. Prairie. Prairie. What's in the middle of this page? Rock. What I have on the bumble bee vest. The bees, the three bees, I've been Raba, the ruler of the Arabs, who was a picture of Al Mahdi. Okay. The man of prayer, Al Mahdi. Okay. Going down. We have the truth out. Now you can see the bumble, bumble bee. Book of the Bees is about the Arabs rejecting the last two witnesses and the roof caving in on them and all of those 41,000 plus people dead as a result of ignoring the prophecies of al -Mahdi. It's because they can't get their minds out of literal scriptures when it says of my stock and no, that was a metaphor. Just like the gold underneath the uh, Euphrates River, the mountain, that was a metaphor. Just like the mountains love us, that was a metaphor. The Bible is full of metaphors. The Quran is full of metaphors. And you have to be able to be anointed with the key of David, with the seal, to rewrite and revise the law. That's why... It is said that al Mahdi will restore true religion. Because only he can do this. This is a job only al Mahdi can do. It. And all these people in the pictures that's kissing me. Um, don't realize they kissing me. They kissing me on the corner of the Kaaba. But I'm way over here in the USA. But Allah is going to bring me forward because I'm not that wise to be able to connect me with being a rock. I'm not that wise to be able to make this connection that you're about to see right here. I'm not that wise to make that connection. With me having the silver, the black, and the tongue in the eyes because the stone the stone will judge let's look at that will judge two eyes 
tongue. According to this hadith narrated by Abin Abbas. Why does it say Abin Abbas? Because this is all going into Abin Rabbah. This is all going into al Mahdi. You see how al Mahdi is the author of the Quran. He's the author of the Hadiths. It says narrated by Abin Abbas. That's going into the real Bilal, Abin Rabbas. The Prophet Muhammad said that on the day of resurrection, Allah will raise up the black stone. That's a person, al Mahdi, with two eyes and a tongue. This means that it will be able to see and speak and it will testify whoever touched it in truth. Now this is the amazing thing about Allah. Allah will tell me something and then I'll go and find it in the Quran, in the Hadiths, in pictures and everything. He told me I was going to judge the world before I even knew about this scripture. Now it talks about a black stone with two eyes and a tongue. Now look at this. Boom. There's your black stone with two eyes and it's actually showing my tongue. Boom. Boom. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. This is my earth. This is my earth. I'm in charge of this earth. I'm going to judge this earth, homie. Okay, look at me. I'm going to judge you. I'm the stone. Even got the pillar. Okay? I'm the stone chief prophet that's being rejected all right so with that being said we went over how jesus is the messiah in the religion of islam that right there is a red flag let me expound on that some more how could the religion of islam belong to the arabians if Jesus, who is an Israelite from the house of David, is the Messiah of it. If this religion really belonged to the Prophet Muhammad, the Arabian one, then he should be the Messiah of it. But he's not. All we see is his name mentioned in the Shahada. And in the Salat, but Jesus is getting the credit for being the Messiah. Who's from Israel? What's up with this? What's up with this? We need someone who talks to God. Okay. I'll tell you again. The real truth of the matter is Islam belonged to Israel from the beginning. Islam always belonged to Israel from the beginning. That's why the Messiah is from Israel. Okay? It never belonged to the Arabs. This is the reason why they're facing judgment. And they can't see it because they modeling. They looking cute. Doing their prayers. And this is another reason why Jesus rebuked prayer. In the Gospels, he was talking to the Muslims. Right now, prayer is shut down. They doing all this prayer. Remember Jesus said, making all these vain reputations, okay? Doing all this many, 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 many praying. Yeah, that was to them. Right now, prayer has been shut down. al Mahdi's here. How are we going to pray when we got sin? We got to deal with this sin. We can't pray. We got to deal with this sin. We got to get this sin. We got to clean up this house. Prayer has been shut down by the last two witnesses. We have the power to stop the rain. Okay, that's the prayer. That's what y'all been praying towards this whole time. Y'all been praying towards this. Y'all been praying towards this thing right here. On the corner. Y'all have to point to it. And that's me. All prayer has been shut down. Prayer is only being received by me and the last witness. All right. So I just showed y'all that again. So I know y'all not blind. Although some of y'all might act like you're blind. Um, the truth is out. I'm going to judge the world. Everything Allah tells me. 
I can confirm it in the Hadiths and in the Quran or in pictures. And this is a really good one. All right. This is another good one. Right there. Look at me. Surrounded by the Virgin. All right. Silver. Black and silver. In the middle. The stone. All right. Black and silver. The Virgins. And this whole album cover is a stone. Allah's been trying to show me. I've just been so blind. <laughs> I've been so blind. All right. This is a special tonight. You're going to hear a lot of my mouth. Right here is my buddy Stunner. Look at him. His name's Stunner, but I'm the Stunner. His name Benjamin Broadway, but I'm really Benjamin Broadway because I was born on Broadway. His name's 700, but I really was born on 700 Broadway Street. He was singing about me and didn't even know it. He had his friend make this album cover and I lost singling me out. I got the light on my face and I got the light behind my head again. His diamond being my halo. The light is on my side. I got the coat of many colors because I'm the Shiloh. I told you, I'm the Shiloh. I'm Genesis 49. I'm the Shiloh. All right. Until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. That's Al Mahdi. The Prophet Muhammad never cleaned up this entire earth. Jesus never cleaned up this entire earth. Abraham never cleaned up this entire earth. Only one man is going to do this. His name is Al Mahdi. He was formerly God the Father, who made himself a human being, who stripped himself of his deity because the the lie because of the lie that they said Allah has a son. So he became a man and he has to be the lamb, get it Lamonti lamb and die, along with the prophet Isa and the mother of the prophet Isa. That's the real prophecy right here. Only in the house of David. And like I, I always love saying, little are you grateful. Little are you grateful. I did two albums called Virtual Warfare. And I was going to do a third one called V3. And that's all going into three virgins. Okay, coming out of Mexico. That's why I got the coat of many colors. The silver, the virgins, okay, that's what that's all going into. And you see me in the middle and you see I'm shining with the light because I got the power. I got the power, baby. All right. And I have the clock. I have the watch. But you see how Allah is always ahead of me. And then I'm shining. I'm shining. All right, so that's just the real truth. You know, we, we always got to put the truth out here. We got to put the, the truth out here, homie. I'm going to put the word on the street. Look at that. That's going to happen. I'm going to revise the law. I'm the eraser. All right, I'm going to revise the law. I'm going to complete the Quran. I'm going to do all these things because Allah is my teacher. Uh, I think I'll let y'all go. Um, I definitely wanted to emphasize a lot on this one. Is that um, the Arabs don't be ungrateful. Islam never, never belonged to you. Never. And you got some of these Arabs online. Let's find some. I'm going to find them. find them watch here we go all right yeah let's find them yeah yeah guys like this guys like this okay here are you you got guys like this who's trying to take um islam in their lineage 
Islam is not in your lineage. Islam is not Arabic. Islam comes from David. Islam comes from al Mahdi. Islam doesn't come from the Arabs. It doesn't. It was borrowed. It was lent to the Arabs. But al Mahdi is the ruler of the Arabs. And I'm going to show you all that in these scriptures too. I'm going to show you one more scripture after I um, expose these people again. That right there is a music note. Real Muslims disagree with music. So how could this be speaking of an Arabic Ali? No. This is shaped like a music note because it's talking about this guy. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the guy it's talking about. I'm going to find a yeah, perfect picture. This one right here. It's talking about this guy. Now you see how I have the music note over my head? My head is shaped like a circle, like a moon. You see how the music note is over my head? Okay, and I have the two versions on either, both sides. Okay, you see I got the black shirt. Because I am the live coal. And you see I have on the watch. Because I know the time of the end. Okay. And here you had this Arab. Right here. Trying to take credit for something that don't belong to you. Islam don't belong to the Arabs. That's why you have an Israelite Messiah. That's why your Messiah is an Israelite. Okay. Because it don't belong to you. It was a religion that was borrowed and lent to you. But now the heir, which is another Israelite, is coming to get it. Why are y'all so shocked? Y'all Messiah is an Israelite. al Mahdi is an Israelite. It's that simple. It's that simple. How you gonna have a Messiah that's an Israelite? But then you're going to have a ruler that's an Arab. No. You have a Messiah that's an Israelite because you have a ruler that's an Israelite. All right. And I like busting them out because there's a few uh, Arabs thinking that is their name written on the moon. Nope. I'll show you whose name written on the moon. This guy right here, his name on the moon, Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. This guy was a picture of me, okay? Why? Because Clay, that's my last name, okay? This man's name was changed from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali, letting you know that Daekwon Clay was the original Mohammed. Okay, his whole life was to show me who I was. There's so many men that lived their life to show me who I was. The torment of exalting Jesus was Allah sending his son, his S-U-N, to torment you all with the way he loves me. All right. I can type in a hundred best black men and every last one of them is a picture of me. Every last one of them is a picture of me. Allah has no sons, but I'm his son that's going to shine. I'm his S-U-N. So this is the real al Mahdi. This is the real Muhammad. He's Cassius Clay. And this is a comforter. Why? Because I come from Fort Wayne. I come from the fort. I come from the fort. What's the 34th book of the Bible? Nahum. What Nahum means? Comforter. I'm the comforter. This is a comforter. I come from the fort. This is a comforter. I come from the fort. 
Cassius Clay, because I'm Cassius Clay. Why Cassius? Because all the money coming to me. All right? All right? And he got the little fro just like me. All right? I'm the real Mohammed. The real Mohammed was black. That's what Malcolm X life was to do, was to show um, the Arabs Al Mahdi was black. Um... Muhammad Ali, his life was to show the Arabians how mad he was black. And y'all just didn't catch it. Y'all didn't catch it. But Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, all these strong heroic black figures are pictures of the real Jamie Foxx, the real Denzel Washington, the real Denzel Washington, and that is how mad he I'm here, baby. So I went over to Comforter. That was a special with y'all. Um, I don't mind going over stuff when it's my day off. I work two jobs. I'm always busy, but I'm always spreading the word because this is my heart. I love spreading the word. Um, another picture I wanted to show you is this one right here. Now, this is Jerome Bettis. Now... This is at a restaurant called Tilted Kilt. You know, practically naked women. Now, this brother came in here, and look, he's touching the black stone. He's touching the black stone that once was white like his shirt. He has on the ND hat, because I'm from Indiana. I'm his messiah, and he don't even know it. That's the reason why he took a picture with me like that. Okay. Allah always singles me out. And the place is called Tilted Kilt because Rome is going to be killed. See? In Jerome, you got Rome. There's going to be some Romans that's going to resist. They're going to get blown away. The ground going to swallow them up. There's prophecies of al Mahdi. Allowing the ground to swallow them up. Swallow them up. Alright, it's going down. So that's enough torment today. Um, I went over the main point. And that main point was, looky here, man. Islam don't belong to you, Arabs. It doesn't. It doesn't. And I'm going to put the scripture on the screen that can help you out. This is one thing for a person to tell you what's wrong with you without showing you something that can help you. I'll show you what can help you right here. Genesis 22. You go right here, Genesis 22, man. You go to Genesis 22, this will straighten you out. This is the perfect story that'll help you. Actually, I would have left y'all high and dry. I would have left y'all hanging because it is not no Genesis 22. I mean, it is. <laughs> if you add two plus two, it's, it's got to be Genesis 24. There we go. Yeah, this is going to help you. Genesis 24. Read this story. This is about Abraham's servant making a promise to bring him a bride. That'll help you understand the religion of Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was not the heir. So that religion was just a bride that wasn't supposed to stay with him. It was supposed to go to al Mahdi. And so that's why he told us in the Hadiths about al Mahdi getting that bride, being the ruler, being the husband of the Arabs. And I am. I am. I am. Guys, I have a woman.
that is a picture of the nation of the Arabs. That's mine. That's how much God loves me. That's how much he loves me. Okay? That's how much he loves me. She's a nation to me. She was a picture of a nation to me. Pretty soon, Arabs are going to be jello. Because what's going to happen is women get um, scared first. Women break down first. What's going to start happening is some Arabian women is going to start getting at me. Because they're going to realize that what I'm saying makes sense. And it's true. And you know how people are. People believe anything anyway. As long as it's convincing. Although this is the truth. And Arabs are going to be jello. All I'm saying is don't try, don't try me. Don't try me. But that's what's going to happen. They're going to start, they're going to start getting weak. Because according to the Hadith, if Al Mahdi is here, you're supposed to respect him and you're supposed to do whatever he tells you to. That is the sad truth. All right? And what's going to happen is some Arabs, some women are going to start waking up and accepting their black Maddie. Okay? I'm going to be merciful. I'm going to be merciful. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. Sending my love out to all those who will accept real Islam. Coming from Al-Mahdi, the ruler, the Islamic Messiah, who was prophesied in the Hadith. I'm the shocker. Every word is a metaphor. Don't get caught up in the progeny and my stock. It was all metaphors. I am really the Almaty with a big nose and a broad forehead because I know the end. 2034. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will be in the real truth.